Hello and welcome to KG Graves, the new one-on-one -on -one series where I just focus on one celebrity. I would be most grateful if you would like, subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. Thank you. As usual, the cemetery information will be at the end of the video. This is number 7, Sir Alf Ramsey. Alf was born Alfred Ernest Ramsey on the 22nd of January 1920 in Dagenham, East London. He served in the British Army during World War II in 1940 before becoming a professional footballer for Southampton. He married Rita Norris on the 10th of December 1951. Alf played football for England 32 times between 1948 and 1953 and managed them between 1963 and 1974. He retired from playing at the age of 35 to manage Ipswich Town in 1955. After eight seasons with Ipswich Town, he left to manage England. His best achievement was managing England in the famous 1966 victory of the FIFA World Cup against West Germany. This led to him getting a knighthood in 1967. Alf retired in 1980 and led a reclusive life for the next two decades. He wrote a few newspaper articles on occasions and played golf regularly. He was also a fan of Western movies. He was a Freemason of the Waltham Abbey Lodge from 1953 until 1981. Alf suffered a stroke on the 9th of June 1998. Also suffering from Alzheimer's disease and prostate cancer, he spent three months in an Ipswich hospital. Sadly, he died in a nursing home on the 28th of April 1999 of a heart attack at the age of 79. Alf was made an inaugural inductee of the English Football Hall of Fame in 2002. He became the first person to be inducted twice, when in 2010 he was inducted in the Hall of Fame as a player as well as a manager. A statue was also erected in his honour on Ipswich's Portman Road Stadium. Let's see where his grave is located. So there you have it, the grave of Sir Alf Ramsey, professional football player and manager. If you have enjoyed watching this video, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.